So that was the rape shaming of Miss Pure Fiction. Isn't that a, a very interesting, very mind boggling story of complete and utter lunacy? It is. Yes. It is. Um, that's that's what I thought as well. <laughs> as, well, don't ask her because you're going to be called a rape shamer the moment you ask her how I in any way oh, no. put her, her in danger, you know? And then comes the Eli oh, no, story, we want that. which is a very interesting story because according to AOD, I rape shamed Eli as well. Now, this is the most interesting part because I never knew about Eli having been raped, right? Until the day that smiling skeptic threw all kinds of vile shit at me, and when we finally talked on Skype, he told me that I apparently had threatened to tell all of YouTube that Eli had gotten raped. And I'm like, what? First of all, I didn't yeah. know about her ever having been raped. Second, I would never disclose any such info. Third, even if yeah. I did, what good would it achieve? Because it would only make me look like an ass. Why the fuck would I do that or even threaten to do that? They never produced any proof. Yeah. I asked him several times for proof of when I supposedly threatened to do that. And he could not provide me with any yeah. proof whatsoever. He kept saying, that's what Eli's saying. And I'm like, show me proof. I even offered him to log into my Skype to look through the logs himself to see if he could find any threat like that ever uttered by me. And he refused. So he was on their yeah. side to begin with, right? So it was just Eli claiming that I had threatened that. To this day, no proof for it at all. Later on, after they had already called the house and threatened the kids, I sent yeah, a message to Smiling Skeptic, right? I sent, a, yeah. I, after they had already threatened the kids, I sent a message to Smiling Skeptic saying, look, you can tell your AOD friends this. This is the one and only threat I have ever made and ever will make to AOD. And it is this. If they don't stop their fucking shit, I will file a fucking police report. And I, told, I yeah, basically sorry, told them, I know their me, names, like, I know where they live, and I will file a fucking police report. That was way later, after the original accusation, right? Yeah. And they took that comment, clipped off the part where I said, I will file a police report, and now use that, claiming, see, you did threaten, you did threaten. Nobody believes you would actually file a police report, that's bullshit. You just wanted them to know you have their docs. No. I actually did file uh -huh. a police report. I actually did supply AOD with the police report numbers, which the comments, yeah. they deleted. So, yeah. So that's how they tried to substantiate that I supposedly wanted to rape shame Eli. Now it goes further. Um, they kept talking about it within the group. At that point, Point, at some point, they tried to drag religionist cancer into this, Marco, right? And yeah. told Marco the entire sob story of Felita the Geek threatened to rape shame Eli, and you need to do something. She's going to disclose that, that Eli got raped. And Marco basically told him, keep me the fuck out of it. I have enough problems of my own. Please don't try to get me involved in some drama I have no part of. I need to deal with my real life. They threw hissy fits yeah. over that like you wouldn't believe, to the point Marco left the AOD, right? And before Marco yeah. and I ever talked, they accused him of being on my side, which actually ended up in me and Marco talking, right? And Marco kept that. getting... Yeah, Marco kept getting shit from them as well, so at some point he turned around and said, you know what, I don't fucking believe Eli was raped. And that they took as proof that I must have told Marco about Eli having been raped. And went like, see, she went through with her threat, she's telling people Eli got raped. And Marco's like, 
No, Eli told me herself, and I said, I never talked to Marco about any of that. Uh, yet they insisted. Yeah, so Marco I, I, recently... I also think... Uh, I, I also think that if you like, yeah. I also think that if you're so ashamed of people finding out that you've been raped, you really gotta find some some mental help because being raped in itself is not something to be ashamed of. It's not like you ask someone, "Hey, can you please rape me?" Exactly. It's something that happens without you having any control over it. So it's, it's not something you have to be ashamed of. And if you're that exactly. ashamed of it, that you're, so, that, you're, that, that you're so horribly scared that people are going to find out, you really should find some mental help. Yep. So anyway, Marco recently released the log where it clearly shows that Eli herself tells him about the rape. And they're claiming that that, and that was, I had um, absolutely nothing to do with him actually stating, I don't believe she really got raped. Mm -hmm. Marco said, if, if you want to call me an asshole for that opinion, that is all fine. I just really get the feeling from everything she's pulling that she's not genuinely a rape victim, that she's just using that to get her way with people. Now... I don't know if Marco is right about it or not, nor will I make any qualifying statement there, because the one thing, well, the one thing I will not do, if someone says I was raped, I will not sit there and say I don't believe you, because that is the worst thing you could no. say to an actual rape victim. So I'm going to give her yes, the benefit yes, of the doubt there, and I won't say I don't believe you. But to claim that I rape shamed her or Miss Pure Fiction in any way, is fucking ridiculous and retarded and an outright lie and just constructed yeah, to right. fuck with me some more because I left their little troll crew group. That's all it is.